What made you come to New York? I don't know. It's when I was five years old, I just woke up one day and I had this idea that I was going to come to New York. When you came here, was there something that you were looking for or something you were trying to achieve? Fame and fortune. <laughs> yeah. I had a dream. This is ridiculous. Why am I dreaming about these things? But I dreamt that I opened up Billboard magazine and my song had dropped to number three and Whitney Houston's had gone to number one. And then I went down to my voice teachers and I walked in and she was humming Whitney Houston's song. And I was devastated. This is what I'm dreaming about. Quarantine Diaries number 14. I think it's quite significant that the paper I'm typing on just caught on fire and consumed my paper. I am so consumed in my own confusion. And yet, I want to taste the satisfaction of being known, of being understood. I think coming from a big family, you know, has oh. something to do with it. You How know, big? Eight brothers and sisters, and you know, you want to stand out, you want to be treated special. And, and then also my mother dying. I think that had a lot to do with me saying, well, you know, I'm going to be really strong then. Or if I can't have my mother, I'm never going to be, I'm going to, you know, take care of myself. This is ABC News Nightline. You're saying I'm pushing the limits of sexuality? No, no you're pushing I'm the limits not... of what's permissible. Did okay. You... Well, let me tell you why I asked that, because there are a lot of people in the industry who have said, look, there are images of you chained, and there are yes, images of you I'm crawling chained... under a table, and there are a yes, lot of people yes. who are upset by that. Okay, I've chained myself though, okay? No, there wasn't a man that put that chain on me. I did it myself. I was chained to my desires. I crawled under my own table. You know, there wasn't a man standing there making me do it. I do everything by my own volition. I'm in charge, okay? And isn't that what feminism is all about? You know, the patriarchy is still trying to ruin my life. Death to the patriarchy. Good night. Charlie Parker, and good night, light. How old were you when your mother died? Six and a half. Do you think that six and a half year old girl stopped, froze, in development, and that somewhere in your character there's, a, there's still that, that same little girl? Hmm. I took a test the other day, and I found out that I have the antibodies, so tomorrow, I'm just going to go for a long drive in a car and I'm going to roll down the window and I'm going to breathe in. I'm going to breathe in the COVID-19 air. I ate a whole bag of cinnamon gumdrops last night. <laughs> One after another? Uh-huh. Would you qualify that as a binge? <laughs> Definitely. No, this is me right now, okay? This is how I feel every day. This is how I sleep every night. This is how I take a bath. This is how I exercise. This is how I live right now. In case you were interested. Fame can be very disruptive. It can be like a drug. Like it gives you the feeling that you're happy. It gives you the feeling that you're fulfilled. It gives you the feeling of self-importance. And it can distract you from what's really important in life. What I really miss, and this is truth, is being able to talk in front of an audience, to be funny in front of an audience every night. Making people laugh is fun. I like the freestyle of it. I like making up stories. I like fucking with people. Another luxury gone. My mother who haunts me, even though she's gone. If I knew how it really was, would I want to trade places with you? Uh-uh. <laughs> Why not? Oh, because it's hard work. Because it is. I don't know, I guess you have to really have a very large um, ego and good tolerance for pain and you have to be addicted to work and keep going and going and going. And the pain, physical pain, dancers, everything, pain. Everything, pain, all pain. Three children are waiting in my bed for me. Three children are waiting in my bed for me. 
I'm not strong enough to carry any of them to their rooms. There was a time when I could. Oh, if only we could keep the things we love the same. Finally, wonder if you know at a certain point when it's not as hot or as commercially successful as it is now and it happens to everybody mm -hmm. does that cause you to want to back off to bail out no no nope. Okay?